Ooh, this place looks friendly. So, this must be Garland's Haunted Mansion. Talk about bad taste in interior decorating. Alright, time to teach this tyrant a thing or two. And I'm going to optimize, and I'm going to heal you up. Okay, good enough for me. So, we meet again. Who are you? Twelve years ago, I lost one of my most prized genomes. I created him and sent him to Gaia to disrupt the cycle of souls there. You are that genome. I am glad that you have returned. Shut up, nobody tells me what to do. I didn't come here to answer to you. <coughs> Sorry. Let me guess. You must be Garland. And what if I am? Then you're going down. But first, you're going to tell me everything. Like, why did we grow up in Gaia? And why do you want to destroy it? I have no intention of destroying Gaia. I only wish to make Gaia into Terra. What did you just say? Of course, not everything went as planned. You growing up in Gaia, for example. There is another one built as you were. He may be the one who threw a wrench into my gears. He? he? Are you talking about? Someone you know quite well. Follow me. The time when the aura of Gaia will turn into the crimson glow of Terra has not come yet. I may need your help anyway. Hmm, okay. Well, let's follow, maybe. Pandemonium. Fun place. Fun place. Stop. No, tell me everything. <coughs> I construct the genomes to be vessels for the souls of the people of Terra when they awaken. But 24 years ago, I gave life to a gnome that was very much like you. His will was too strong to make him into a proper vessel, and I even considered discarding him. But then I thought that I should put this strength to use. I sent that genome as my servant to disrupt the cycle of souls in Gaia. Just tell me who he is already. Uh, I think I can guess who he is. Do you not yet know? You and here are so much alike. <laughs> like? I've never met anyone like me. You judge only by appearances. I mean someone with a soul similar to yours. The one I sent to Gaia might also be called your... brother? And his name is Kuja. Kuja! He's a gnome? Impossible! He doesn't even have a tail! He is only hiding it. He denies his own identity. He rejects the meaning of his existence and tries to assert his own individuality. Don't you see the resemblance? Shut up! I'm not anything like him! We said the same thing when speaking to the other genomes. I'm not like these guys. His ambition was unbecoming of a gnome, but it was perfect for the mission I gave him. To bring war and chaos to Gaia. That was what I sent him to do. To induce an unnaturally chaotic flow. So then why? The disruption of the flow of souls is best brought about by war. And what did he do for me? Far exceeded my greatest expectations. What about me? How did I end up in Gaia? When you received the gift of life in Branbul, Kuja could not bear it. He could not bear to see a gnome with more power than his own. He felt threatened. Kuja discarded you. He dropped you onto Gaia, the world he would destroy. So I was to be your slave? Just like Kuja to start a war on Gaia? That is correct. I did not expect Kuja to abandon you. But I believe it was in his nature. And to him, bringing war to Gaia would prove his victory over you. Perhaps it is because his desire to justify his existence that he let you live as well. So that's why the blood of thousands had to be spilled. Are you referring to Kuja's ambition? Or to our plan to disrupt the cycle of souls? Both! And what exactly do you gain by disrupting the cycle of souls or whatever? 
we must sort the souls. I want to disrupt Skaya's cycle and drain its souls, filling the void with the souls of Terra. To speed the cycle of souls is to speed the work as a whole, thus, war. And in time, Gaia's souls are gone, and Gaia becomes Terra. But how? You saw it with your own eyes. You saw the Aoife tree, and the mist it emits. The role of the Aoife tree is that of Soul Divider. The mist you see compress comprises the stagnant souls of Gaia. Oh yeah, but we stopped the mist, so much for that. All you saw was the back of the tree. Even though now the Aoife tree blocks the flow of Gaia's souls, while it lets those of Terra flow freely. Come and see for yourself. See the true form of this planet. What is this? I think of it as an observatory. A place to measure the radiance of Gaia and Terra. What are you talking about? What is this weird light? That is the center of the planet. The end of the beginning of the cycle of souls. The light remains Gaia's for now, but when the blue changes to crimson, all will belong to Terra, and its restoration will be complete. That is why I wrapped up the light in the Leafa Tree, to prevent the cycle of judgement of souls on Gaia from inside the planet. Such is the Aoife's Tree's true purpose, its true form, all you saw was its material form. The flow of Gaia's souls cannot be changed simply by stopping the disposal of mist. So, so Kuja is just an angel of death who sends souls to the tree of Aoife? Yes, my angel of death, but only until you came of age. What do you mean? His soul is not eternal. I was going to create you next, after all. You mean you won't need Kuja's soul once I grow stronger than him? Precisely. Soon, that time will come. Well, now you should be fully aware of the meaning of your existence? Huh? Yeah, I'm aware of all the laughter and all the tears I've shared with the people I grew up with on Gaia. Forget all of that. You're destined to live among the stars for all eternity. You have the power, the position, and the motive to do it. I wouldn't want that kind of power. I, I If I only had a place to call home. My brothers and Tantalus, Grimmith, Scout, Amarant, Dewey, Reclaw, Action, and, and Jeff. My home is with them in Gaia. If you say I have a motive, then... It, to punish all of you who brought pain to my friends. I'll destroy Terra. That's reason enough for my birth here as a gnome. Regrettable. I thought your soul would be perfect for a new angel of death. I am the angel of the new angel of death. Yours. Don't you know what it means to meet your maker? Shut up. I've heard enough of your crap. I'm taking you out right here, right now. Foolishness. The body becomes a vessel which greets a new soul. What's happening? He's too good to make into a regular gnome, but I have no choice. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ugh. I can't believe I actually returned to this place, but soon, soon the power will be mine alone. <laughs> Just you wait, Garland, and you too, Catfish. I'll exact sweet revenge upon you both for insulting me. I'll make sure the people of both Gaia and Terra know who wills over all of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. The evil, evil in airship. Who am I? I don't know anything. I, I cannot think at all. Catfish! Yeah, I was called that once. Many people called me that. You always have to show off, don't you? Well, maybe I do. Why, you worthless mendicant. Yep, sounds about right. How very becoming of you. How becoming of me? 
I really learned a lot by traveling with you, Catfish. Yeah, right, I have nothing to teach. You teach me many things! More important than tasting munchies! N no I don't know anything! You call that friendship? 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 Catfish! I, I don't know who I am. You were always there for me, Catfish. I I'm so tired. How come you're always so... I, I am an empty vessel. Catfish! Huh? Wake up, Catfish! Huh? Come on, Catfish, wake up! Huh? Catfish! Grimoth! Action! Thank goodness you're alive, we thought you were dead! Oh, I... We were so worried, why did you come here all by yourself? What are you doing here? Huh? We could to save you, of course! And it wasn't easy, you went off all alone. Leave me alone! Huh? This has nothing to do with you. Oh, come on. There he goes, being the tough guy. Look, Catfish, it's not just about you. Come on, Catfish, don't be like that. Let's... Shut up! Just shut up, you stupid brat! Catfish! Catfish. Catfish, wait up! You need to rest, Catfish! Oh, you little twist, shut up! There are some things just kids can't understand. Oh, hello. Forced into a fight. Oh, you look fun. Please don't hit me. Oh, good. Battle works. Because I think I've got poison immunity. Yes, I do. 500 damage is 500 damage. Oh, really? Really? Well, fudge. Looks like you need some help. <laughs> Can you even take care of yourself? Jump, 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 jump around, jump around. Alright, let's see, what's the superpower that we have? Grind lethal. Really? Really? God dang it! <laughs> Yay, you guys leveled up. Such a waste of trance. How <laughs> foolish of you to go alone. Damn hypocrite, I'm always talking about friendship when you're nothing but a selfish loner. I can take care of myself. Hey, come back, catfish. Mm -hmm. ah! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, I will not be defeated so easily. No, I'm mad! I cook you good! Reckler? Do we? What are you doing? Have at thee! Taste this! Oh, wow, you're a biggin. Well, let's see. Bad breath, that guy. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> really? That sucked. 
that I approve of. You'll attack, you'll cook, because cook I think is 50% and I want to eat that thing. Eat him. Eat him. Nom nom. Oh, can't eat that thing? Well, fudge. That's 15,000 HP damage. 17, probably 18, because I've done over 5,000. You guys. You're late, catfish. Smack him down. Cool. Smack him down. Oh, that was a nice hit. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, there we go. To his mastered auto regen. <laughs> what an unworthy opponent. Catfish, you're not gonna leave us. I still want to make me place lots of good food. And I have not yet concluded whether or not you are the right man for our highness, mind you. Just leave me alone. I don't want to trouble you anymore. Hmm? Babysitting bastards. Ah, oh, but trust me, I know that I'm the worst bastard here. Oh, hi! You're a big one! Well, attack. I got a feeling you're gonna help me. Seriously? 27? If that's all you've got, I think I can take you down. Come on. There we go, now that's a hit. Come on, bring it, big boy. Come on, bring it. Oh, you know, you did, you did twenty, then you did a five hundred, then you did a hundred. That's just pathetic. Come on, I've done like ten thousand damage to you. Oh, now we're talking. Excuse me, what? Oh, 400? Oh, come on, your charge hit harder than that. Oh. Oh. Ow. Is there a need to hit me down to one hit point? Never underestimate the power of an elixir. Jeff! Is this how you want to solve your problem? Let's see. Mini! Oh, go down. Nope, nope. Oh dear. And bring yourself back up to full scratch again. There we go. That's enough. Wow. Scan him, actually. I want to see how many hit points he's got. Oh, really? Earth shake. I gotta admit, that's one hell of a strong chin if he's able to do that. 
Oh, ow. Very, very slow chipping away his health. He's not tough, he's just got so much HP. Oh, and there goes your HP. Oh, really? That's gonna suck for a next fight if there is one. Oh wow, 13,000 XP. Oh sweet, an elixir. Lost the high potion, so I got an elixir. Jeff, you try to do everything by yourself, don't you? Try to understand, I, I don't want to be cause trouble anymore. Aren't we your friends? I want to think so, that's why I always... Look, I'm not from Gaia, I was just an, a hairbred from becoming the destroyer of Alexandria. I can't accept your friendship so easily. You always protected us, but you still don't understand that we looked out for you too. We watched your back while you watched ours, and we believed in you the same way you believed in us. Just like you protected us. We want to protect you. Jeff. You say it! My master told me! Somebody give you tasties? You give them tasties too! His good manners. I still not cook you succulent frog yet, Catfish. Do we? Chivalry requires a knight to look after his comrades in arms. I will not abandon you, and I shall follow you to kingdom come if I must. You remember that. Right, Claw. <laughs> what am I going to do with you guys? The feeling is mutual. Alright, let's go. Wait, where are the four others? You don't think they've been trapped? It's possible. You should not have left them. That's right, I mean, really. Oh. I'm sorry, let's head back together this time. Right. <coughs> right, first things first. Um Heal. There we go, that's good enough for me. Wait a second. We gotta go find the others. Is that because there's a... Give me a second. No. I was... I thought there was something in here. Let's go get the others. Oh, I think there was an item there. I think there was. Was there an item there? No, there wasn't. Oh, God! <sighs> okay, just I'm just gonna leave. The room, the room that is. Right, so let's go get our guys back. Huh? Catfish! Catfish, why did you leave us? I'm, I'm sorry, you're right, I need everyone's help. Don't leave us again, okay? Never. So you've had a change of heart? Oh, well, busy guy, coming and going all the time. Yeah, but not anymore. We have to stop Carlins. Yeah, that's right. A Moogle followed me all the way from Branbal. Just tell me if you need to rest, Kupo. Alright, now we can work our way out of this depressing castle. Because we're all together now. Right. Heal me. Look at this you have. Good enough for me. Regla, where are you? There we go. Let's see what upgrades we can get for you. Not that. But we will get you Thunder Slash. Thunder Slash. That's fine. Yeah, okay, I can take that. Let's go. 